Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yet another video. So you saw the last one. If you didn't, go check it up. I'll have it linked up in the corner. We built a rear diffuser for the truck. Now, that thing is looking really good. I'm really digging the look of it on the back. We kind of need something with the sides now. And I've had a ton of comments about the how the cab and the bed don't line up. I kind of like that, but at the same time, it kind of bugs me a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is build a set of side skirts for the truck and kind of cover that step up. So basically I'll be making the skirts off of the cab and then it's gonna extend over the bed. And then I'm gonna kind of raise the skirt up a little bit on the back side of it to kind of match what we got going on with the front splitter. And then on the rear diffuser, we have that piece hanging down. It's gonna kind of match that with like a kind of a, you know, a triangled piece right there. Kind of match the theme going on with it. So that's a game plan. I have no idea how I'm gonna build these. I have no idea how I'm gonna mount them, but we're gonna get the cardboard out. We're gonna mock something up out of cardboard and these should be pretty fairly simple to make, I think, at least for the little bit of idea I have on what I'm doing. We're gonna make this out of the same ABS plastic as we did the rear diffuser. So that'll match the diffuser in the back. I think it'll look really good. So let's get after it. Let's get some cardboard, cut it out, make ourselves a template and kind of see what we're looking like.
Well, there we go. Skirts are on and looking good. I actually really, really like how these look and how it kind of covered up that gap there. And just the style, the whole style, I kind of like. It's got the little bit of a lip, like a three quarter inch lip that hangs out and then it covers everything up. It looks really nice. What I did do because everything is bolted to the cab, I wanted to bolt this up. So what I ended up doing is using a spacer in this plastic. I drilled the hole too big so it has a little bit of play in it so that you know when the cab and the bed move separate from each other that it's got a little bit of play in there so it can move around hopefully it won't cause any issues i mean this stuff it's pretty sturdy but there's still a little bit of flex to it so i think i think with having the polyurethane mounts on the cab and the bed obviously doesn't have any i think those mounts are stiff enough to where it's not going to be moving around too much well all in all i am very happy with how these skirts turned out it really kind of completed the look with the diffuser on the back the bumper on the front kind of tied everything together and like i said it covered up that weird looking gap from or that step from the bed to the cab it covered that up i think it looks a lot better it makes the whole truck look a little bit lower and it just looks a lot better i really like how they turned out well guys i'm gonna wrap this one up here now if you're curious this material i'm using is an abs plastic i went with a 3 16 thick i probably could have got away with a quarter inch but on the diffuser with all those bends i figured 3 16 would just bend a lot easier so 3 16 I, I have seen a lot of people use quarter and it does look good and it's going to be a little bit stronger but either way abs plastic 3 16 i got that from a shop in town but i do know there is a couple websites online that sell it Shipping might be expensive, but I'll link those websites if you guys want to check it out. Well, that's a wrap for this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.